Earth has been under scientific observation for a very long time. They gather a variety of data about the land, atmosphere, ocean, and ice of Earth using NASA satellites and other devices. According to this knowledge, the climate on Earth is warming up. There's no stopping global warming, says Gavin Schmidt, climate scientist and the director of NASA's Goddard Institute of Space Studies. The climate on Earth is changing. The surroundings are altering. The Earth is becoming increasingly warmer. We frequently hear about climate change and global warming. We encounter it everywhere in the news, on television, among people, and on social media. Since the Industrial Revolution, Earth's climate has been changing fast. Human actions are the major factor promoting this intense pace. In particular, the massive use of fossil fuel releases a large amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which concentrates and warms the planet. So far, this climate change has not affected life on Earth too much. However, it is threatening the existence of several life forms that have to endure this climate change coupled with other human-induced changes, for example, deforestation. All these factors combined may soon affect us too. For instance, the availability of food may be drastically reduced. If there is a link between human activities and climate change, humanity can still slow down its impact on the planet. There are many things that everyone can do to help slow climate change and life form extinctions in the near future. But you might also be wondering what will be the Earth's future climate? How the Earth's climate will be 100 years from today? In today's video, we will answer all these questions and tell you more about the ever-changing climate and future climate change predictions. Before we continue, remember to subscribe to our channel and press the notification button to stay updated. Why does it matter that Earth's climate is changing? Well, it matters. Here's why. The climate of Earth has warmed and cooled numerous times over millions of years. But compared to human history, the planet is warming far more quickly now. The surface air temperature of the entire planet has increased by around 2 degrees Fahrenheit over the past century. It's true that the last five years have been the warmest in millennia. It might not seem like much, but a few degrees. The health of the plants and animals on Earth, however, may be significantly impacted by this change. In other words, it could have catastrophic implications on Earth and human existence there in the near future. How the Earth's climate will be 100 years from today Researchers from different countries have discovered that burning fossil fuels, which emit carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, is to blame for the average 1.1 degrees Celsius rise in global surface air temperature between 1900 and 2020. Although this may not seem like much of a shift, the warming is unparalleled in data going back more than 2,000 years. The globe might be affected in several ways by even one degree. So little warming can eventually result in significant melting and global warming. If greenhouse gas concentrations stay at their current levels, climate models project an extra 4 degrees Celsius increase in the Earth's average surface temperature. Models predict that it may no longer be viable to maintain global average temperatures to within a 1.5 to 2.0 degrees Celsius increase if immediate action is not taken to cut greenhouse gas emissions. What are the predicted impacts of climate change? The effects of climate change are expected to vary by region. For instance, it is anticipated that temperature rises will be higher on land than in the oceans and higher at high latitudes than in the tropics and mid-latitudes. Other facets of the climate, like rain, snow, and clouds, will change as a result of and are already changing due to warmer temperatures. The ocean, life, ice, and all other elements of the Earth's system are also being affected by them. The water cycle will speed up due to a greater rate of evaporation at a warmer average global temperature. Precipitation will increase as atmospheric water vapor increases. For every degree of global warming, the average amount of precipitation can rise by 7%, which implies that there will be a lot more rain and snow in the future, as well as a greater risk of flooding in some areas. Snow and ice melt when the temperature rises. The melting of glaciers, ice sheets, and other snow and ice on land is expected to continue to be more pronounced and rapid during the summer. Mountain glaciers have shrunk in size across the globe during the past century and the Arctic's permafrost cover has also diminished. 
ocean circulation changes could also result from ice melting. By the end of the century, the Arctic Ocean is most likely to be ice-free. Sea level rise is brought on by a warming climate through the melting of glaciers and ice sheets and the expansion of the ocean. Models estimate that the sea level will increase by 0.25 to 0.30 meters by 2050 and that it would rise by around 1.1 meters globally by 2100 if greenhouse gas emissions are not immediately reduced. Even higher levels may occur in some low-lying locations, endangering wetlands, coastal towns, and international trade. It is anticipated that the oceans will absorb part of the surplus heat and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, acting as a barrier against climate change. In the short term, this is excellent news, but in the long term, it becomes more troublesome. Weak carbonic acid is created when carbon dioxide and seawater are mixed. By the year 2100, additional acidification of 0.14 to 0.35 pH is anticipated. Oceans with more acidity have devastating effects on marine life. Some climatologists predict that a greater percentage of the most severe storms will occur. Numerous plant and animal species geographic ranges will change as a result of changes in temperature, precipitation, and seasonality. Many species will suffer extinction if the area in which they may survive decreases since species can only survive in an environment that meets their demands. On the other hand, some species, like mosquitoes that spread various diseases, may expand their range as a result of climate change. Additionally, it is anticipated that rising surface temperatures would bring more heat waves and droughts, which can have an adverse effect on crop output, raise the danger of wildfires, and even have an adverse effect on human health. Abrupt changes are also possible as the climate warms. The abrupt collapse of the largest ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica, the disruption of the thermovaline circulation, the sudden release of methane from its reservoirs in Arctic permafrost and special ices beneath the seafloor and ocean uptake of carbon are just a few examples of climate changes that are more difficult to predict and more gradual. Climate is changing very fast today, and this is not natural. Be part of the solution. People from all across the world are cooperating to decrease the effects of climate change and other harmful human impacts on the environment. A prime illustration of this is the 2016 Starting Paris Agreement. The goal of this agreement is to limit global temperature increases to no more than 2 degrees Celsius during the time prior to the Industrial Revolution. On a planet with more than 7.6 billion people, we must all alter our lifestyles to reduce human climate change. Each of us can contribute in a variety of ways. There are numerous ways to cut back on the actions we take that contribute to global warming. Let's remodel the planet in better ways. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.